Love of Bridge is about um, bringing younger, uh, younger musicians um, into the genre of jazz so they could get more exposure to it. It's just giving young musicians another outlet. This project is essentially about uh, a group of young musicians getting together to create a small romantic performance which is going to be performed on Valentine's Day. And so we've got Trevor, Tony Kofi and Asuka here to help us kind of put something together. I took up this the challenge of getting involved in this project because I thought it would be really interesting to contribute to a jazz project, the jazz based project as a vocalist. It started with Trevor having the, the brainchild to kind of like use some of the youngsters where, where he would um, take a youngster who, who has no kind of uh, experience in jazz, in the jazz field, and kind of give them a, a different angle of, uh, of how to approach music, you know, because jazz is very, it's a very complex music. And once you start to add other elements in there, you know, uh, it changes the whole thing. So, and it's, it's a very high, high level of music. So I think uh, with Trevor doing this, it was a, it was a good thing. And I, and I kind of, you know, got involved too. It's a good selection of youngsters. And two of them are like, just turned 16. And the other two are a bit older, they're like 19, 20. Just playing with people and, you know, because um, every, every experience, um, musical experience is something you can learn from and I think I'm probably the oldest one here but I'm still learning things about you know playing with other people all the time and it's just yeah it's great fun to be playing with people. Basically I'm in school at the moment so I go to Kingsdale Foundation School and um, before this project I'm um, in Julian Joseph Jazz Academy where me and Trevor Watkiss met and he's the one who signed me up for Lover Bridge, the project, jazz project, yes. We're going to be like around where bridges are. Um, one of the places is London Bridge and the location is on the Golden Hind Galleon. Well my role is alongside all the other teachers is to really facilitate the way in which young people explore these very well-known songs. Um, I think it's great getting to learn to cover a song but hopefully you start there and you end with yourself and you end up sounding like yourself, whatever that might be. What I enjoy the most is that we get to be creative with the music, so like we get to kind of interpret it in our own way, not follow the rules. Like we learn the rules in order to break them, which I like about it. And you also get to meet new musicians, take a lot of influence, like they're influenced by um, Tony and um, Trevor himself, as well as Esco also. One of the places we're going to perform in is the cable car. A lucky, two lucky couples, we will actually get serenaded by some of these musicians in actually in the cable car. And another location is the Victoria Embankment Gardens. Um, just outside the gardens, we'll be doing the performance outside. I think it's really good because it's just about working with other talented people who also share the same passion that I have for music and um, it's just a great way of being creative and stepping outside of your comfort zone. Everyone's really enthusiastic and it's just great for everybody to see everybody getting involved and to see everybody enjoy it as well. As much about you know established artists giving to emerging artists as it is about emerging artists showing established artists new things and then we can start learning from each other. It can't fail you know because because you know we, we are we are pushing the boundaries so we're, we're stretching them and we're stretching them beyond their limits you know beyond all their limits and even if they come back they won't come back to the same point. The artist's journey is about trying to find their voice and their sound and 
if there's any way in which I can contribute to someone getting on that path, then I, I feel very proud of myself. <laughs> I feel very proud.